Hey, history buffs. Today I'm diving into the legendary life of Pancho Villa, one of Mexico's most iconic revolutionary figures. Grab a seat because this is one wild ride through history you won't want to miss. Pancho Villa was born José Doroteo Arango Arambula on June 5, 1878, in San Juan del Rio, Durango, Mexico. Growing up in poverty, Villa experienced the harsh realities of life early on. By the age of 16, he became an outlaw after reportedly killing a hacienda owner who had assaulted his sister. This act of vengeance set him on a path that would lead to his legendary status. After years of living as a fugitive, Villa adopted the name Francisco Pancho Villa and became a leader of bandits and rebels. His charisma and leadership skills were undeniable, drawing many followers who believed in his cause. Villa's fight wasn't just about personal vengeance, it was about standing up against the oppressive regime of Porfirio Diaz. In 1910, the Mexican Revolution erupted. Villa joined forces with Francisco Madero, who opposed Diaz's dictatorship. Villa's cavalry, known as the Division del Norte, became a formidable force, winning crucial battles and gaining a reputation for both bravery and brutality. One of the most fascinating aspects of Villa's life was his ability to escape capture. He became a master of guerrilla warfare, utilizing the terrain and his knowledge of the land to outsmart his enemies. His daring raids and tactical brilliance earned him the nickname the Centaur of the North. Despite his ruthless methods, Pancho Villa was also a man of the people. He redistributed land from the wealthy to the poor, built schools and supported community projects. His actions endeared him to the common folk and cemented his image as a Robin Hood-like figure. But Villa's story wasn't without its controversies. In 1916, he led a raid on the town of Columbus, New Mexico, which led to a U.S. military expedition into Mexico. The event strained U.S.-Mexico relations and added another layer to his complex legacy. In the later years of his life, Villa retired from revolutionary activities and settled down in Chihuahua. However, his past caught up with him. On July 20th, 1923, Villa was assassinated while driving through Paral, Chihuahua. The circumstances around his death remain shrouded in mystery and speculation. Pancho Villa's life was a whirlwind of violence, rebellion, and daring escapades. His legacy still resonates in Mexican history and culture, symbolizing the fight for justice and equality. Whether viewed as a hero or a villain, Pancho Villa remains an unforgettable figure in the annals of history. Thanks for tuning in, history buffs. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the life of Pancho Villa, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more captivating stories from the past. Hasta luego!